Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Pena's Tutoring, where I help you make your child learn. Today we're going to be learning about how to understand integers. Before we get started, I just want to let you know about my free learning style inventory. If you click on the first link below, you can get access to the way that you learn. You fill out eight pages of a little checklist and then at the end of the, those eight pages, it will show you which multiple intelligences your child is best suited for. So click on the link below and then give us your email and we'll send it to you. And then on top of that, you'll get weekly um, content resources and tips and see what's going on with Mr. Banyan. So I'll see you there. On second note, in order to participate in today's lesson, I highly recommend you get the worksheet down below on the second link, the one that says Teachers Pay Teachers. You can buy it for $1 and you'll get three pages of the math that we're going to be doing today. So today we're learning about integers. Integers are all of the counting numbers, their opposites, and zero. Opposites are integers located on opposite sides of zero and the same distance from zero on the number line. We have a number line. We have negative 1, we have negative 2, positive 1, and positive 2. The opposite of 2 will be negative 2. These are called opposites. So all these numbers that I've listed, 2, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, are all called integers. It's not a very big word. It just simply means all of the counting numbers including zero and the opposites of those counting numbers, which is the negative equivalent of whatever positive number. So the objective for today is I will learn how to identify opposites of integers as well as compare and order integers. So first watch me. We're going to plot each point on the number line below. We have negative 8 so that's letter A we have 3 which is letter B we have negative 4 which is letter C and then we have positive 2 which is letter D now you try give it your best shot this should take you about one minute Okay, minute up. Now check your answers with mine. We plotted negative 12, that's letter E. We plotted number 11, that's letter F. We plotted letter G, which is negative 7. And we plotted, po plotted positive 6, which is letter H. Now we're going to go for negative 4 over here and we're going to put the letter I positive 10 which is the letter J negative 9 which is the letter K and positive 7 on the right side of the 0 which is letter L now here's a word I want you to know origin just remember that this is origin it's going to make sense later on in math now here in this page using the number line below write the value of the integer then write its opposites 
as you can see, for, for the letter A, we have negative 5, and so we're going to plot the opposite, which is 5. So we're done with A. Now with letter B, we have 11. And what's the opposite of positive 11? Negative 11. So look at letter C, negative 12. And the opposite of negative 12 is positive 12. And now D. We're just going to leave it at zero. It doesn't really have an opposite, so it doesn't count. Now you try. This should take you about one minute. We have G, which is negative 8, and the opposite of negative A is positive 8. We have H, which is number 1, and the opposite of 1 is po positive 1 is n negative 1. We have E, which is 9, and the opposite of 9, positive 9 is negative 9. F is 12, and then we have negative 12. There you go, 12 and negative 12. You don't have to circle the numbers on the bottom. Now you try. the letter I, which is positive 6, and its opposite, which is negative 6, right here. For J, we have negative 3, and its opposite is positive 3. We have K, which is negative 9, and its opposite is positive 9. And we have L, which is 9, and its opposite is negative 9. You're doing amazing. Keep up the good work, boys and girls. Now, understanding integers. Write the opposite of each integer. The opposite of negative 13 is 13. The opposite of 34 is negative 34. The opposite of 63 is negative 63. The opposite of negative 121 is 121. The opposite of 57 is negative 57. Now you try. Alright, <clears throat> I hope you got the right answers. 
we have 75, negative 24, negative 48, 90, and negative 198. Now let's go to the last section. Compare the integers in the squares and shade in the 1 with the greater value. Then write it in the circle. So 3 is actually bigger than negative 2. Negative 41 and 9. 9 is actually the bigger one, so we're going to write that here. 100 is the bigger number. Negative 8. Now you try. Time, we're just going to put an equal sign because they have the same value. None of them are the greater number. 54 and 54.1. 54.1 is the greater number. 0 0.3 and 100. 100 is the greater number. And last but not least, 58 or negative 79. 58 has the greater value. 58 um, is the bigger number. So this was understanding integers. Remember that integers are all of the counting numbers, including zero and their opposites, the negative equivalent. I also want to remind you, never stop learning. Go ahead and grab my free learning style inventory down below to see how you best learn and your option. And that way you can join our email list and receive more resources um, within the coming weeks. Also remember, if you want access to this worksheet that we practice together, you can click on the second link down below. Teachers pay teachers. You don't have to be a teacher to buy it. And for $1, you can have all three pages. Thank you for being here. And I hope this lesson has blessed you. Goodbye.